In the not too distant future, next Sunday AD, there was a guy named Joel, not too different from you or me. He worked at Gizmonic Institute, just another face in a red jumpsuit. He did a good job cleaning up the place, but his boss didn't like him, so they shot him into space. He used those special parts to make his robot friends. Robot, robot, cabot, gypsy, dumb servo, cool. You're wondering how he eats and breathes and other science facts. Then repeat to yourself, it's just the show. I should really just relax. Oh, mystery science. Hey, hey, ho, welcome to the Satellite of Love. Uh, I'm Joel, these are my robots, and uh, you know, it's baseball season up here on the Satellite of Love, and in space, that means one thing. Milwaukee, huh? I mean, T-ball. Oh. Okay. Sign in 15 seconds. All right, Crow, I want you to go along. Come on, buddy, okay. way right. out there, buddy, way Joel, out Joel. there. Is this gonna hurt? Are you sure it's not Quit gonna hurt? Quit being such a panty hey, waste. Okay, just bad, hold bad, still hey, and nothing will get hurt. Hey. Okay. Whoa! Gypsy, you patched up the hole. Thanks a lot. I thought I told you kids not to play ball in the house. Oh, oh we're sorry. Oh, we're sorry. We won't do it again. Coast is clear. <laughs> Go long, buddy. All right. All right, buddy. This one's coming out to you. Shag it long, Joel. Shag it long. Go way long. Way uh, long. Uh, way okay. Open, I'm open. Oh, oh, oh. I right. got it. Yes. 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 All right. All right. Excellent. All right. Of the human spirits. Oh. Oh, well, uh oh, you hey, guys! I caught it. I knew that reading that George Will book would pay off. Hey, the Mad Steinbrenners are calling, and you're oh. losing your glove. Oh. Yes, 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 Doctor Forrester, let's do the wave! Woo! Stop playing around up there and get to the invention exchange, Van Lingo Mungo. Hey, hey nice mug. <laughs> oh, okay, oh, sirs, oh. I can show you my invention exchange. This is my new invention. It's called the Cellulite Phone. It reminds people that they should stop dialing and start dieting. And Dig that's it. not all. The Cellulite Phone features a speed dialing system that puts you directly in touch with Richard Simmons. You know, when you were carrying around all that weight and the kids used to show movies on your shirt and you were so unhappy and no, <laughs> you just deal a meal and... <laughs> and the Cellulite Phone gently reminds you what could happen if you order out for the wrong kind of food. Ah, uh, hello, Domino's. Yeah, I'm here with a, a couple of friends, a group of friends, and we'd like to order your large pizza. Yeah, and I'd also like that extra with cheese. extra breakfast cereal and some fruit bats. No olives. And um, some A1 sauce on top of that. And, and for uh, traveling, the cellulite phone can be stored in <clears throat> this special pink nylon stretch pants carrying case. What do you think, sirs? We don't have time for that kind of nonsense. Frank and I have started our own gizmonic daycare center here at the... Uh, Deep 13, and Frank's developed a new baby formula that's going to be very lucrative for us. Isn't that right, Frank? Oh, that's right. I've just found this little fella here, something I like to call Miracle Baby Growth Wonder Formula. It helps build strong bodies in 12 ways. Oh, yes, you love me. That's right. Here, that's okay. Oh, never mind. Look, Booby, your experiment this week is called Time of the Apes, and it's uh, really immature. We asked all the kids here, and they said it... I did it! It worked better than I thought! I'm the god! I'm the god! <laughs> Tell me we can go to Rizzo. Oh, oh, niggas on the Rizzo! Oh no, it's yep. a Sandy Frank thing. 
Sandy Frank, Sandy Frank, here we go again. Hey, Sandy. Neat. It looks like a Sesame Street segment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? I'll take the Kazooie Takeda, but hold on the uh, Norobo there. <laughs> Sandy Frank, Sandy Frank, these things aren't in the film. <laughs> Help me! Help me! I'm trapped in this copyright. I want to live! I want to live! <laughs> ooh, ooh, more sedate. Original hmm. story by Sasquatch, adapted from a play by Coco and a novel by Chuckles. <laughs> hey, these they look like they're on a playground. They must be recess monkeys. <laughs> oh, pull off that arm. Don't oh. hurt me. I love the tender love theme from Time of the Apes. Isaac Asimov? What are you looking at? Hey, where's BJ? Oh. I don't know why I got duplicates of this shot. <laughs> Who took these photos anyway? Diane Arbus? I'm starving. For attention. Uncle Charlie and Mr. Butter. Mm. Oh. Experiments at the lab. So, don't disturb their work. Uh. I won't, Mother. Then don't dub with your mouth full. Hmm? Johnny? You know, your Uncle Charlie has made some major discoveries. You should be proud of him. Who discovered your that. Japanese? Hmm? That's Caroline. Hmm. Hurry, it's time to go. Say, she's... Oh. oh, for crying out loud. Okay, I'm ready. Hello, Caroline. Good morning. Hello, dear. Johnny, you look after Caroline today. <laughs> I will, Dad. Oh. oh, what was in that oatmeal? Hmm? A tremor? No. Johnny, don't go. It's too dangerous. I don't care. Come on, Caroline. <laughs> Off to meet my doom, Mom. See you after school. Enjoy yourselves. See you later. Holiday Bye. with Johnny. Be careful, both of you. It's a holiday with them. Hey, it's Jamie Gum's van. It puts the lotion on its skin. <laughs> I think that's cute. Good morning. Oh, Good morning. not too late, are we? Oh, we hit her. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. At the moment, we're doing some experiments on cold sleep. Cold hmm. sleep? Yes. We're trying to preserve various creatures for extended periods. Hi, Fred. Them at Hi, Sally. Right, bye. And are they still alive? Oh, yes. They awaken when we thaw them out. That's <laughs> incredible. What's in here, Catherine? In this room, we have some monkeys. Oh. Surprise! It's That's where the title baby. of the film came from. Actually, he was asleep for over 20 years until this morning. No, he's graduated <laughs> from college. <laughs> We call that one King Kong. Because he's so small, <laughs> <laughs> oh, It's fantastic. It sure is. It's cardboard. Is this the control center? Well, it's about time. It's Hello, about Uncle. space. I got up late this morning. Good morning, Caroline. Look at the mountain. We had a warning from the Seismological Institute today. There seems mm. to be some subterranean shifting. You mean an earthquake? Huh. It looks serious. Maybe an earthquake. Yes, but nothing will happen suddenly. No. Well, Caroline, is it interesting? Oh, yes, especially the cold sleep experiment. <laughs> Dr. Lee, hey. the children are very concerned about our monkeys. Mm? Yes, you get the feeling they're really dead. Are you sure they'll live again? <laughs> Why, of course they will. <laughs> Come, I'll show you something fascinating. For a change. Hmm. I love you, Margaret. Frank, not now. <laughs> Seems like a lot to work to go through to make an ego frozen waffle, doesn't it? Lay misty for me. Radio Shack parts. Hmm. Kitty, it's Snowball. Host of Snowball. <laughs> Ooh. Hmm, somebody's carpet. Mm -hmm. And it's being steam cleaned. Rug Doctor, steaming mad at monkeys. Ugh. Oh, they cauterized her. Oh, they're using Grecian formula. Hey. Oh, oh, who's oh, got a monkey? Oh. Little horse for a little monkey. Yeah. Hey, he'll have himself on his back. <laughs> hmm, my stocks are up. Uh -huh. Oh, shoot, am I tired? Oh, God. Mm. Oh. Now, to shave his butt and put cosmetics on it. <laughs> oh, no good until I get a cup of coffee. Could you? Oh, it's alive! Yes, 
<laughs> there. As good as new. And no freezer burn. It's all right. The freezing didn't hurt it. No, he's only sleeping. It's William Burroughs. He's left it frozen for a hmm. hundred years. Hmm. Or even a thousand without causing it any damage. You see, with our new process, we can preserve life almost eternally. Go oh. ahead, fight him. <laughs> We've even experimented with human beings. Hmm. Really? Human beings? Hmm. Yes, this is what we have here mean. a very wealthy man, James Bedford. Oh. In his will, he requested that his body be frozen immediately after death. We gave him various compounds to reverse the decaying effects of old age. Yeah, we turned him into a Hummel. Nitrogen. Check it out. Hmm. 196 degrees below zero. And so, we hope that when he awakens, he'll be even younger and healthier than before. It seems wrong to tamper with the laws of nature. Uh, hey, I know. Discussion. Here. <gasps> <gasps> This room is for very special experiments. Johnny, don't touch any of the equipment. I don't care. This capsule is used for people, right? And they're frozen in there? Once they're inside, all the controls are set for our tests, and a computer takes over automatically. It's glorious. And we transmit our findings to the world's leading scientists. But when they're frozen at hundreds of degrees below zero, it's just like they're really dead. Hmm. Yes. Only they're not. But their souls are. Don't they feel anything? <laughs> no, nothing. We first prepare them with a special injection, like an anesthetic. Want some? And then it's like they're sleeping. Some even tell us that they were dreaming. Of a oh, white Christmas? It's really hmm. incredible. <laughs> Johnny, don't go in there. I don't care. Come on out. We haven't completed those experiments. I just wonder what it's like to oh, be we'll frozen. Let know. Now get out. Or I'll get very angry. Oh, See? An earthquake! Uh oh! Oh! Oh, Nelly! Oops. Johnny, get out! Johnny! <laughs> Johnny! Help Johnny, me. be no. good! Oh, Johnny, go! Oh. oh, the people upstairs are dancing again. Oh! Oh, for crying out loud! Rocking and rolling. <laughs> It keeps the hot side hot and the cold side cold. How do it know? Whoa, whoa. Krakatoa. Oh no, it hit the plot contrivance switch. Oh wow. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? They're gonna end up being an Irwin Allen production. Mm -hmm. Here we go. I love the sound of breaking glass. Especially when I'm lonely. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, but I hate these Minnesota winters. Mm. Look at their shellac, then decoupage, then sold at an art store. Neat. Hmm. Tree falls in Japan and no one is there. Johnny Carson's Malibu home. Hmm. Not anymore. Sorry, Johnny. Did the Earth move for you, too? <laughs> no, but the model did. <laughs> you know, I bet Johnny cares now, huh? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I feel the plot move under my feet. Whoa. I was at a party like this once, you know. Really? Whoa, suddenly we're at the Fillmore. Oh, oh. boy, it's the credits again. Oh. It's 11 here at Comedy Central. Do not attempt to adjust your TV sets. Ooh. Wow, she's got freeze-proof mascara. Ooh. Well, I really tied one on last night. I got the sake goggles big time. Ooh. It's the Daleks! It's ah. Dominate! It's Dominate! Where it's are we? Where are we? Uncle! Does that mean give up? <laughs> the earthquake. Hmm? It's just a door. Wow. Oh, panty waist, jeez. Mm. How strange. <gasps> Uncle Charlie! Ah, what do you want, kid? Chip, Ernie, where the heck is Preston Sturgis? It doesn't look like the Institute. The one that I was committed to. What happened to my uncle? What happened to I your don't pants? Know. Hmm? Hello? Hello. 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 <laughs> what now? That. Let's go ahead. Do, 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 do. Hmm? Hey, open it three uh, times. Uncle. What gives? Huh? Scared? Not. I. 
Do I worry you? Not me. Hmm? Hi, <laughs> how are you? You think this is... Oh, bad? I got my hand on the door and I, I stuck and I'm frightened. And I, oh. Huh? Human alert. Kill me. Ah! Yeah. It's a whole planet of Ron Perlman's. Whoa. Look there! <laughs> Make my day. Ah, uh, you! You let us go, or I'll kill you! Uh -huh. yeah. Johnny, stop that! Don't taunt the monkeys, Johnny. <laughs> Where are we? You're tied Where to a is tree. Everyone? Where's my Uncle Charlie? I don't know, Johnny. It's all so strange. Catherine, I'm scared! It's like at the Palma Don't film. Don't be afraid. We're with you. We're doomed, but with Why you. Why are there only <laughs> apes here? Oh, I'm getting dizzy. Why aren't there any human beings? Read the book. <laughs> Do you like long walks on the beach? <laughs> Chinese food? Mushing up your bananas? <laughs> I could do wonders with this hair, you realize. Ah! Catherine, I'm scared! <laughs> we have to try and stay calm, Caroline. Understand? You better not us now, they'll be hungry in an hour. <laughs> uh -oh. Oh. oh, good thing he suddenly evolved. Hey, here comes the Scopes monkey trial guy. Mm. Psychedelic. I don't know why I ought to, oh, you're not worth it, oh. Meat. Now, you magnificent son of a bitch! Oh. What are they gonna do with us? I hope they lower your voice. Looks like they're gonna take us somewhere. The company picnic? They're gonna kill us? No! I don't wanna be killed by a monkey. I wanna die at my own hand. <laughs> we mustn't do anything to anger them. Come on, girls. We're gonna give them a makeover they won't believe. <laughs> She's first. <laughs> Mystery guest, enter and sign in, please. Make her walk the plank, the salty dog. Slag heap, rated R. Today on involuntary cliff diving, we've got three contestants. They've entered the valley of the fuzz tone guitar. <laughs> the bowling ball. ball. They're human bones. They're going to kill us. No. <laughs> I don't care. Maybe just a little. I like you. I'm going to kill you last. So we put up with centuries of bellhop costumes, little t-shirts that say zippy on them, badminton on ice, roller skates, cigars in our mouths. Lancelot Link alone set us back a hundred years. Now you. Let's run, Catherine. Whoa. Run for it. <laughs> Oh, meanwhile, in the Emerald Forest, here's John Borman. Don't let them get away! Kill them! Good plan. I love the jaw heart. After them! Where'd they go? This way! Well, look up there, Ned Beatty! <laughs> you know, fat old hog. <laughs> Sorry. Ah! Huh. Ah. Nice bridge work. Let's try and cross it. Come mm -hmm. on. Let's stay together. Yeah, that's what Al Green said. I agree. I hear you. Yeah. <laughs> no! Oh, did you see them? Don't they disappear? Do Come, this way. Let's have our picnic over here. Hmm. Prepare to meet Kali in hell. <laughs> you know it's good to have thumbs. Yeah, we did. Huh? Where did that come from? You said bowling ball earlier. What did that mean? I don't know. It's just... Uh, I 
Oh, That's no. it. Just a little more to go. You must get to my utility belt. Good morning, Ron. Hi, Phil. How's the wife? Good, thanks, man. Uh, Say, nice boots you're wearing there. Uh, Look, if you can't work out 30 minutes a day, you don't deserve a hot date. Uh, Fina Crow. Uh, my piece of wood! It died so that we might live. No, it's just some kids down there. Mm. Did you see them? I can't see anything through this mask. You can find them anywhere. They must have crossed to the other side. This way. This way. So let's just hang here for a while. Oof. Aren't you glad you used dial? <laughs> Don't you tickle, wish tickle. everybody did? That was lucky. Go tickle. Nobody saw us. Tickle, tickle, Keep tickle. going. That's mean, Joel. Hey, it's Ken Kesey and the Merry Pranksters. Mm. Dang tourists. Let's go. This way. Oh, like you know where you're going. <laughs> ah, a house. Look, there's a house. Yes. Must you scream Careful, every observation? We don't know who lives there. Hi, I'm William Conrad for First Alert. Don't let this happen to you. Paper windows just aren't safe. Uh, use the door. Thank you. There's no one inside. Time for your origami lessons. Hey, let's find the refrigerator and freeze ourselves back. <laughs> it's roomy. I like it. Don't make any noise. Hey, Keith Richards at home. <gasps> no, don't. Where? It's a monkey mime. Hi. Hey, you caught him right in the middle of his facial. <gasps> Is this your home? Yes. Hmm. Look, it speaks. I hope it's all right. Are entering like this? I don't mind. Yeah, now tell him about the torn window. Yeah, you gotta go. gonna get in trouble. <gasps> huh? Johnny, don't go. It's too dangerous. I don't care. Why doesn't Johnny care? A film by Bell Labs. Johnny likes to sit next to his girlfriend Sally here on the bus, but she's got other fish to fry. Strike one against Johnny. Hey, that building up ahead is Johnny's school, Tarkus Brain Lab 4. And here is Johnny's inner sanctum helpmate, Mrs. Reese. To Johnny, the halls of Tarkus Brain Lab 4 are filled with dark, shadowy figures. A few whispered words, the sting of a needle, and they're gone, gone, gone. No one stays too long in Johnny's world, would you? What looks like a normal playground to you or I takes on a hideous simian appearance in Johnny's mind. Images leap and dance like melting colored caramel candies. Johnny's hero, by the way, is alone from the Bobby Goldsboro Institute, from the Snide Museum. Here in Johnny's fun lab, he can manipulate objects at will and no one dares to stop him. Johnny concentrates hard to make the herding stop. Here's Blue Director 4, Dr. Todd Ambrosius, Johnny's real dad. Uh-oh, time for a heart-to-heart, -heart, Johnny. You see, it's all because Johnny doesn't care. Do you care? Because a mind like Johnny's is a terrible thing to unleash. I'm Tom Servo announcing for Bell Laboratories. Good night and commercial sign. Ben. What do we do? They're all around the house. Ooh, There's a away. back door. That was fun, oh, huh? Hurry. Now we know why Johnny doesn't care. Yep. Hurry! Ooh, they saved Save the shoes. shoes. What do they want? Tradition. 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 After them, after them! <laughs> no, no, forget the beach chair. You're in a hurry. <gasps> hmm? Oh. Statute of limitations. It looks like they're scared. Yes, you're right. Picasso! Oh. Ooh. Oh. 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 They're afraid of that shrine! 
They're afraid of tripe? No, shrine. Shrine. Oh. Come on, let's go quickly. Yeah. Looks like tripe, though, doesn't it? Come on, run. Try and move faster than the plot. <laughs> Hey, the cheese phone is ringing. Yes, Mr. Colby. Limburger on line two. It's me, Geba. What's that? They went towards Green Mountain. Hmm? Very well. I'll be right there. Oscar Wilde. Let those invaders hmm. escape. Don't worry, sir. They'll be caught soon. This is a very serious situation. Mm -hmm. They must never be allowed I'm to smoke a cigar the border and enter Green Mountain. We must call out all our troops. Was that Bond with the magician there? I'll get them before they reach the frontier. Uh, give me David Crockett, King of the Wild Frontier. Thank you. This is the district leader. We must have reinforcements. I resent him. Oh, Johnny, are you all right? I don't care. We must keep going. I cannot stay. I must be going. <laughs> 99 banana decrees on the wall. 99 banana decrees. <laughs> Oh, ho, 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 the bus! It's the bull and a split show, full in bleagle, bleagle, drooper, and snork. <laughs> About face. Uh oh. oh it's wasn't... Prince, his royal purpleness. Ooh. Those invaders must be caught, and this time you mustn't let them get away, or I'll have you all shot. It understand? is Prince. Mm. We understand, sir, but no one wants to go into Green Mountain. You cowards! Those invaders must never be allowed to cross the border into Green Mountain. Get going! Yes, sir. Forward and get them. A birthday present. I like them. Run through the jungle. Barbed wire fences. I don't care. Green Mountain. Whoa, high-grade weed! Cool. Uh, we just can't stay here like this. I wonder why the fence is here. There must be a way around. Make good neighbors. Okay, size, place, get a buddy. Pair off. Let's take to China. They're getting close. I found a Go truffle. On. Go through. <laughs> Go on and keep your head down. Go In on. In shame. <laughs> you care now, don't you? you? Are you all right, Johnny? You're not hurt. Those are it's some kind no. of a trap. It's designed to kill anyone who enters here. No. Hmm? Oh, oh, uh -huh. the tree's having a seizure. Oh, oh come on. Oh, okay. Ragweed. Ah! Oh. Me? <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, saw that coming. Oh, fresh coconuts! Oh! oh. I got a lovely bunch. I'm allergic to it. You mustn't cry. With this knife, I'm not scared of anyone. Well, you're dumber than those rocks. Oh, hurry, hurry! <laughs> Don't leave me! Woo! Help me, Oh, no, that's fun. In the bag. Yeah, oh, you sure. come down. Hey, I got a great kooky idea. Let's pretend right she's here. a pinata. Oh, yeah. hey. <laughs> You'll be all right. Or not. A little more. Oh. Hmm? Hmm? Steven Seagal in Shoot the Monkey. <gasps> Catherine! What? what? It's Mike Nesbeth. He was a monkey, too. That's me on the base there. Nice gun. Sir? You're human, aren't you? She's very discriminating. You are a human? Hmm? Are you a human? Yes, I am. We all are. And we're little kids. Uh oh. Huh? <gasps> Oh, hey, just like Ed Ames on The Tonight Show. <laughs> Catherine! Oh.
We met a nice guy at last. The apes aren't the only ones here. Right, Catherine? Damn, yes, we got the us a family. to follow us here. Yes, I got it. The apes didn't set the trap. He did it, didn't you? Maybe. How did you get to this country? Uh, our mom dropped well, us off. Uh, you see? Oh, I have so many things to ask you. We came here in a very strange way. My refrigerator. Where are we? What is this place? Love me! We're on Green Mountain. Ooh. This is Green Mountain. Are you a Hatfield or a McCoy? Have you found them? Not a trace. This way. They, they must be near here. Let's crap in our hands and throw it at people. No. <laughs> you know, you know, it doesn't matter how much you evolve. Look. That's still damn funny. There's some now. Hmm. Headquarters. Headquarters. This is Police Chief Gaba. What is it? The I can't move my lips. Cut. They must have crossed the border. Idiots. Who hired them? How did they get away from you? This means they'll join forces with Godo. Go, go. You must find them. Cordo? Well, it's not much, but it's close to the bus lines, and, uh, you know, I kind of live here during the uh, off years. And You can make fire? Oh, is this where you live? No, it's my summer home. What do you I think? I was born here. Jeez. Oh, do, do you live here with your parents? No, they're dead, dead, dead! No, they died a long time ago. Oh, you're right. You lived here all alone? Then you had no one to look after you when oh, you were sick. Oh, rub it in, kid. Then why don't you join us? Leave the mountain with us. Join no, us. it's much safer here. Join us. And this is my home. Come with us. Look, water. Uh, Johnny. It's all right. Johnny is a walking is faux pas. Oh. <laughs> mm, tastes good. Here. My name is Johnny. Yeah, like I care. Who's your sister? This is Catherine. She works with my uncle. As a geisha. <laughs> and this is my sister, Caroline. She'll drink Hello. anything. My name is Godo. Godo? A funny name. Yeah, well, bite You know, you Godo, can. all the apes seem to be afraid of you. Godo? I was just thinking, if you say that you were born here, then this country is not inhabited only by apes. Well, That's there's right. me, too. And there must be other humans here near the mountain. Don't you think so? Um, uh, I don't know. Um. Don't you remember any other people living here? Should I shave my mustache? Some boombox. Boombox? What did you say? I don't remember. Oh, no short-term memory, huh? I think we ought to take care of Caroline's wound. Yes. She doesn't have one. Hmm. Well, let's give her one. Those clothes. I'm very torn. They're going to have to come off. <laughs> yes. We have to find something for you. I'll look around. Faster, Ooh. faster! Go on! Go on or I'll kill you! Go, there goes Sheriff Lobo! <laughs> right on his head. Forward! I said forward! You coward! Uh, could you take a little off the sides, like like what he's oh, got? More, yeah. more. Thank you, sir. Oh, thank you. I teach you to disobey me. Is there anyone else who refuses to follow my orders? Yo, down here. I need some discipline. Yoo-hoo! Nuts. You didn't hear me. Faster! Faster! Hey, Steve Tyler from Aerosmith. Look, there he is. Come on! Bring along those furnace doors back there. Man, it's starting to smell like a zoo around here. Oof. <laughs> Why are you stopping? Keep going, keep going! Uh, yes, sir. Sorry, you sorry. Go that way, go forward, yes, sir. The others, yes. follow me. Yes, sir. I want a taste of that whip. Oh, the mime is back. Oh, great, it's a planet of owls. And they are not what they seem. Mm -mm. Get it? I heard one call my name. A monster. Yeah. The invaders in color. Hmm? The heck was that? Corn dodgers, I love them. <laughs> what a pig. It's delicious, isn't it? Uh, okay. yep. Strange food. Do you, you like it? Yeah. Uh, no. There. Oh, he shaved the back of his hands, too. Do I look more civilized now? No. 
Don't make me what laugh. What is this? It's a funny-looking vegetable. Mm -hmm. Yes. It tastes good. Mm -hmm. It tastes like mashed potato. Yes. <laughs> oh, fun. But I kid the potatoes. Hmm? What is it, Pepe? Godo, the egg troops are coming here. They've set fire to the mountain. What? Oh, that's Ooh. great, but who are you? No. Don't move from here. <laughs> Pepe, what is Godo like? He's strong and very clever. And a snappy How dresser. How did you make friends with Godo? A long time ago, I came to this mountain just to play. Then my mother came looking for me. But she was caught in a trap. An ooey gooey and then, taffy trap. And Godo came and rescued you, right? Yes, that's why I love Godo. I love him too, my little I'm friend. Oh, another fire. There, hurry, hurry. There's Godo! Kill him! Kill go, him! Go, go, go to watch him. Go, go, go. Go, go, go to watch him. Go, Don't let go, him get away! Go. No, no! Godo will kill us! No, no! Kill him! Go to! Kill him! What a dope. Kill him! Hey, you can kill him by Use shooting him! Use the guns! Oh. Kill Godo! Shoot him! Shoot him! Fire! That's what these are for. I don't know. Oh. It's really hard to draw a bead through those masks, you know. This music sounds like it's from Sketches of Spain. Or Sketches of Spam. <laughs> oh, that's good weed. <laughs> oh. The smoke's too thick, we can't stay here. Let's go hurry, hurry! Out here where the plot is thinner. Nicolas Cage in Wild at Heart. Go to hell? Hey, he feeds you, he takes you into his home, and that's the thanks? Go to hell. I need your help, and Catherine's here too! Pepe, hold on! Pepe! Go to Pepe's! Pepe, don't move! Pepe, don't be a hero! No, don't come here! Run, run! Save yourself! Pepe! He's a crispy critter, Godo, kid. Mm-hmm. Imagine what that Godo, fur smells like burning. Godo, 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 Godo. Wow, there was a bear with a ranger hat on, and he kept screaming, Only you. Pepe. Give me your hand. I've got it. Pepe. Oh, that's not my hand. Hey, hey, Joel, he's got a monkey on his back. I hear you. I hear you. Pepe. Huh? Oh. <gasps> Oops. They worship a goofy owl. Mm -hmm. Oh! Present arms! Crap in hand! Ready! <laughs> Godo, are you ready to die? Ah, uh, frankly, no. <gasps> Tis a far, far better thing I do than I have ever done. <laughs> Aim! Uh oh, it's the producer. Sandy Frank, Sandy Frank, likes the crap in his hand. Oh, I hope he doesn't see this. I can't shoot. Hey, sounds like Prez in his horn section there. They're excellent. Hmm? Colonel Sanders, what happened? Well, it was a grease fire, you know. I had a little trouble with the fryers there. Oh, my. And look, here's Peter New. Your hmm. Excellency. Police chief gave us acting on his own initiative. I tried to stop him. I tried to stop him. But he was all over me like ugly on an ape. <laughs> Release them. Yes, Your Excellency. Hey, who is that back there on the stake? John of Arc? <laughs> Your Excellency. Ah, you're back. Your Excellency, I request permission to kill Godo. He mustn't be allowed to go free. He is our enemy. No. <laughs> So we that's snow then, huh? Ooh. I how he does that. Monkeys. I hate them. Godo! Johnny! I missed you so! Godo! Godo! Don't die! Okay. <laughs> You need to wash your hand. No. <laughs>
It's camera. Oh, what? no, 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 no. Not, not really. It's a kitchen lamp. <laughs> Johnny! <laughs> oh, please, he's just a little boy. Don't hurt him. No. Oh, please, don't hurt him. Shire of the lambs. Take him away! No! Oscar Wilde? To headquarters! Gee. Oh. Oh. Your Excellency! Your Excellency! You Where? can't do this! I have fought against Godo at the risk of my life. Now that we have him, he must be punished! I request your permission to kill him! Mm -hmm. On the other hand, you're right, of course. Can I have a new desk? Your Excellency! Oh. Silence of the lambs. It put the lotion on its skin. <laughs> Meanwhile, on chimps. <laughs> hey, it's a Shriner. Ooh. Hey, you kids behave or I'll turn this plot around. Oh. Ooh. Hey, he's not half bad. Your Excellency. Please let the children go, just the children. Do not be afraid. I will not harm you. I do not hurt innocent people. I have assistance for but that. if you cause trouble, I will kill you. Have you understood that? You will kill me! Oh. Yes, Your Excellency. This bites. Huh? Catherine! <gasps> Bethlehem! Sort of. The King of the Apes rides in style in the new Buick Skylark. It's got a monkey bar on it. Uh-oh, don't let those ramp apes handle your luggage, guys. Attention! Fulling crap! Now they're going to give him a 21-turd salute. <laughs> you know, they may have evolved, but they still have lousy paint jobs. Look at that. Mm, look at that car. Mm. Get out. It's a Masonic temple. Oh, they got a special handshake. Uh, oh, go. Better go. Okay. Sure wish we could go with you, Godo. <laughs> Hello, this is our dramatized pageant of the Scopes Monkey Trial, a pivotal interpretation of law which has a very thin connection to today's film. I'm your host, F. Lee Bailey. Scene 1, 1925, Dayton, Tennessee. John Scopes taught the theory of evolution school. This was against ape law. Man evolved from ape. All right, turn on your desk. Come with me. Tell it to the judge. Thank you very much. Scene 2, a sweltering courtroom somewhere in Tennessee. The question before the court, did man evolve from ape, or did man come from the Bible? This is the plaintiff, William Jennings Bryant, played by our own Tommy Servo. Notice his resemblance to Frederick Marge. Thank you. Your Honor, uh, and... Uh, he's not here yet. Oh. Uh, representing the defense, Clarence Darrow, fictionally played by Spencer Tracy, recreated here by Crow T. Robot. Uh, uh, I object. Uh, uh, not yet. Um, playing the part of... Honorable Judge Harry Morgan will be this cardboard cutout of Judge Wapner we got in the mail with the voice of me, F. Lee Bailey. Go. Now, what's all this horse hockey about man evolving from monkeys? Well, they did. Uh, the defense rests. That's it? Yeah. Well, that was a uh, very elegant, eloquent, almost Oscar-winning performance, Mr. Darrell. <clears throat> Your honor and esteemed oh, colleagues of the bar. Oh, uh, shut up, Colt. Right. Joel, tell hey. to stop. Perhaps you ought to cut to the chase, Colonel. Hey, I want to be a Colonel, too. That sounds neat. Come on, you guys are getting mired in the boring subplot. Let's just oh. Joel, Joel, where's the defendant? Uh, she's still changing. Oh, for crying out. Oh, there she is. <clears throat> Go on, people, for me. Yeah, but which man? Yeah, what about women? And what about Scarecrow's brain? Uh, let's snap this up, people. We're starting to lose them. I find the plaintiff, Mr. Scopes, you're guilty. The fine is a thousand, a hundred dollars. Have this stamped by the bursar. Shyster. Hey. And so the trial ends in confusion. Neat, huh? Uh -huh. Oh, and William James Bryant succumbed to the mortal strain and died five days later. Uh -huh. 
Clarence Darrow went on to greater things like his role in Pat and Mike and yep. the stunning It's a Mad, 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 Mad World then died. <clears throat> if you want to read more about it, ask your librarian for the following books. Picture Book of Tennessee, Welcome to the Monkey House by Kurt Vonnegut Jr., the comic book version of Planet of the Apes, and Curious George Rides a Bicycle. We have movies. Movie time! Oh! <laughs> Here you go. Fly, Judgy, fly. All right. <laughs> there he goes. Die in front. <laughs> yes. Ooh. Yes. No one can escape from this cell. From now on, your Not name is Zippy. <laughs> <laughs> a little thumb and cheek humor there. Very little. Oh, oh, oh. too many white castles last night. Oh. Ah, a bug zapper. I checked in, but I can't check out. Hmm? Now get in there and test that luggage. <laughs> what is this, Planet of the Fops? <laughs> now remember, if you are good, no harm will come to you. Hmm. Understand? Yes. Mmm, mm, monkey mm. eats. Mmm, mm, Reese's peanut butter, delicious. <gasps> Ow! We do not eat like barbarians. You must show respect for the customs of our country. Regurgitate, then eat. First you thank the gods before you sit. Then you raise your food and eat with dignity, understand? Then you do the hokey pokey and turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. I'm out of here. Oh, thank you, Hunnaman. Can we eat now? Let me see if I got this right. You put your right shoe in and your left shoe off and you... Uh, oh, no. Mm. That <laughs> never works. Oh. Hey, he's making linoleum angels. <laughs> Trick or treat for UNICEF. This is when being a monkey really comes in handy. Are those monkey boy jeans you're wearing? No, he sat on a candy bar. Oh, great. <laughs> You know, it's funny how film directors always make air vents big enough to crawl through. Mm -hmm. You know what he's afraid of? He's afraid he's going to run into David Hedison going the other way. <laughs> Johnny, it's me. Oh, Pepe. <laughs> Give a hoot. Don't pollute. Johnny. Oh, yeah, you gotta lay off the pancakes, kid. Ooh, hot pants! Is there a screwdriver? No, how about a Bloody Mary? Here's one. <laughs> oh, I got it, Pepe. I always carry one. Great. Oh, great. Welcome to Plot Convenience Playhouse. <laughs> Pop music. <laughs> now it's righty tighty, lefty Lucy. Ah, Lucy, I need a screwdriver. Ah. <laughs> okay, I can get through. Be careful, no one sees you. I'll find Godo, and we'll oh, come back for you. Johnny, do you need to be changed? Whew. I can get through, too. Everyone can get through, except for bulky Catherine. You'd better stay. And you just pretend I'm still inside the cell. It's much safer. And it's fun, too. Bye-bye, keep in touch. Scream if you get killed. Tonight on Crime Dog. <laughs> Don't strain yourself. Oh, That's him. great. Am I on a wall? Oh. Go down. No, it's impossible. Not unless I turn myself into a boiled potato. <laughs> that dramatic action. Mm. Far out trails, man. Yeah. Well, you can tell by the way I move my stuff. I'm a woman's ape. No time for talk. Uh, 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 uh. Staying erect. Staying erect. Uh, uh. He looks like Teddy Ruck's been up close. Mm -hmm. Simeon night fever. <gasps> oh, 
Oh, oh stupid kid, don't do that. So you've been to cost cutters again. Gordo. At last I have lived to see the day when I will kill you. Well, it's nice to have goals. It's taken a long time. For years I have thought of the pleasure it would give me. To move my jaw. <laughs> <laughs> this time, you will not escape me. That trick never works. Very well. Do just as you like. I want to ask you one question. Is it okay to pet on the first what date? What do you do with those three? I don't know yet. Tar, you're soaking in it. Look at those hands. Kill me, it doesn't matter. Just let those three humans alone. You can kill me, but it's over my dead body! Uh -huh. You know, you still have sausage links for fingers. I don't care where you came from. Look, he's pointing a duck call at him. <laughs> Uh, huh? I'm asking you, let them go. They are innocent. Huh? Silence! Huh? Huh? <laughs> 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 Suddenly the film editor goes for an Oscar. Huh? <laughs> Try punching him. No, harder. Punching him. <laughs> oh, it's a good thing you got that boy off his back. <laughs> Bedtime for Bonzo. Come on, kids. Uh, I need to get a drink of water, okay? So just wait there. Uh, okay. Where are they? Caroline and Catherine. This way. Hey, who played that symbol? Someone's there. Can Johnny come out and play? Ja. <laughs> Who are you? What are you doing here? Are you known for your work in the theater? Oh. It sounds like the alarm's underwater. Hey, apes, I think your speaker's blown. <laughs> it's a woofer. Oh, I get it. Uh, they're going to go catch the F train. Come on. Going uptown. We're gonna hide in this Jiffy Lube stand. Gogo has escaped! After him! Kill him! Ow, 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 my fingers! Ow, oh, ow, oh, my fingers! Ow! Oh. You fool! Where? I told you to behave yourselves, didn't I tell you that? Yes. I'm very sorry. You will regret your behavior. <gasps> there will be more zooms like this. Major! Your Excellency, find that boy! I want Dodo and the boy alive. If these three prisoners are killed, then they will be worthless to us. Yes, Your Excellency. Follow me. Yes, sir. I'm the boss, pretty much. Yeah. You mean Godot has run away too? We will find him again. Your Excellency, I don't care about my own life. Only the children. They have done nothing. They are innocent. Let them go. If you had not disobeyed and followed my instructions, things would be different. Not better, just different. We'll wait till nightfall. We Good might plan. find us before then. Oh, no. We've made it this far. I'm starting to get hungry. Cover all the exits. Yes, sir. Oh, your oil's done. Oh. They must be here somewhere. Johnny, we'll get in the truck. I can see from here they need a new oil filter, though. Mm -hmm. Look, famous potatoes. Huh? Okay. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Harder. <clears throat> Get in. I smell a rat. Oh, it's you, Peppy. <laughs> Hi. We'll be right back. Enjoy the film. Hmm? Smells like a man and a little boy in here. Who bathed? No, oh, me. me. No, no way. Wow. You cried earlier, Carol. Do you want to talk about it? Hmm? Cover your knees, honey. I mean, <clears throat> Sergeant. Wow. 
on, everybody. Hmm? Oh, she's way overdue. Hey, I saw this in the Three Stooges movie once. Come on. No, no, yes, no. Uh, I got a bad back. Uh, it's his lumbar. It's out. Uh, he was going to have to. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Mm -hmm. I'll help you here. <laughs> you know, I thought I smelled aqua valva. Later, when we're off duty. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Wow, wow. Hey, who's walking on my bridge? We're far away. How'd we find Caroline and Kathy? I found them quite pleasant. We'll and we'll you? We'll get back to them real soon. <laughs> Where are they hiding? Hey, how do you get his opposable toe in that I boot? I tell you, I don't know. Why do you insist on protecting them? After all, didn't they run away and leave you here to die? Hey, good point. Give me a banana. I'm joining you. Isn't it? Then why haven't they come for you? Uh, the lights were hey. against them. I'm sure they're going to come back for us. <laughs> it's not that funny. It's a Donovan video. Walking in the grass with the sunlight in her hair. Hmm? Well, look out for the floating pith helmet. <laughs> what the? They're going to blow dry everyone now. Um, smile, please. Thank you. Another junior class. Thank you. <sighs> Another seniors. Thank you. I'll have these back by the end of the trip. Thank you. I know. Pepe, are you all right? A little tired. Oh, well, not Pepe we'll anymore. Rest a little. <laughs> I was wondering. That flying saucer seems to be everywhere. Like it was following us. Mm -hmm. Do you think there's a special reason it's doing that? Maybe to protect us. Yeah, protect we need us? it for the third act. Be from a friendly planet. Maybe it's Ruth if Buzzy it's and friendly, Jim Neighbors. Why don't they try to signal us? It's a mystery. Who do you think they are? Who do you think you are? You look like a hostess cupcake, Peppy. Peppy, you okay now? Yes. All right, come. Ah, <clears throat> oh, geez, kid, you're sweating like a bear. Or should I say lemur? No, no, I know what he looks like. He looks like a woodchuck that got nailed by a splat ball. Mm-hmm. Hey, what are you doing here? I'm a traitor to my species. My father. Your father is stationed here? Yes, he's an officer. And a gentle oh, monkey. See. Well, go on. <laughs> you shouldn't hang around here. Goodbye. Oh. Nice meeting you. Huh? There's some good security. Is this Watergate? <laughs> oh, there are guards everywhere. It's beautiful. Ooh. Why, that's Caroline. And her pneumatic oh, drapery. Here. <laughs> Is Catherine there too? I don't know. I couldn't get any closer. Didn't have any shirts. Here's the back door <laughs> to the building. And they're in a room on the second floor overlooking mm -hmm. the yard. Hmm. But there are guards posted all over. Is this to scale? Here is an emergency exit. But we can't get to it unless we use the outside stairs. Godo? Hmm? Well, here's what we'll do. We'll bang our heads together and walk around in a daze. Woo. Today we've got three hey, separate hey, views of love monkey style. Load as much straw on it as you can. We'll meet back here. Just roll that cart around for about eight hours, then head back. Then we'll try to get into the back door of the building. But you'll have to be careful so the guards don't suspect anything. Will you shut up back there? Hmm. Child labor. Neat. Mm -hmm. We're there. Pepe, you're terrific. Hey, you there. Go to hmm. He's coming. Okay. What are you doing? You can't leave that there. I got tired. Uh, okay, I'll help Thank you. Thank you. It's regulations to stay here. Oh. Well, I'm not a good soldier. All right, now. Oh. 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 Give him a rug burn. Oh. Monkey pile. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> A monkey in a blanket. Keep watch. Right. Hi. Right. 
That kid looks like Roseanne. Come on. <laughs> Is he gonna tell people he spilled nair on his face? Mm -hmm. Hmm? Neil Pert on drums. He's still there. Hmm? He should really learn the lyrics to that. Okay, now. Huh, kid talking to hey, nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hmm. See how I do that? Mm -hmm. Hmm. People down for the down. Yeah, Johnny, you wait there. Talk about pop music. Everybody talking about. Sounds like a loving spoonful song, doesn't it? Does. The good time. Oh, he really shocked the monkey. <laughs> Tony, all clear. Come on. The weather ball flashes green. No plot foreseen. Howdy, ma'am. Howdy. Hello. Sounds like Johnny One Note on his M and E Magic Key Organ. Hello. Hello. Where's the other Careful. guy? Third hello. Oh. Prepare the plane for combat. Uh, can't it wait till tomorrow? No. Nope. We don't have Do planes. We're apes. Very well. I'll see that it's done. Dickweed. What, doesn't anybody have peripheral vision in this movie? I don't know. Oh, there's a guard there. Elite Republican guard. <laughs> That's the room. What do we do? Little Johnny's got bags under his eyes. <laughs> That's dirty. Little boy is there. Hey, cover your mouth, what are you kid. What doing here? Halt! Halt! Hey. Oh, that's what you're doing here. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thanks for shopping Walmart. Oh, let's go. <laughs> this is the principal's office. They're mm. showing that film we're not supposed to see. Huh? Uh-oh. <gasps> it's me, Catherine. Your name Johnny. is Catherine? Johnny! <laughs> Johnny! Oh, you smell like a primate house. <laughs> now, how about a little sugar for Godot? Little Godot. Godot. Catherine! Ricky Schroeder in The Champ. Johnny! <laughs> You're mowing on my arm, Johnny. <laughs> Please don't worry. My hair's all wet. <laughs> nice teeth. All done? Godot! Let's hurry. We can talk later. We have to get out of here. Godot, there's no reason to run away. What? The commander is very nice, and he said we were under his protection. His protection? It sounds like some kind of trap. It must be. We must get going. No, hmm? I'm staying. No, you're coming with me. No. Don't forget we saw traces of human beings. They yes. have to be near here, and we must try to find them. Godo. Yes, we'll all go together. Huh? Who dubbed you? Caroline. I want to find other human beings. Mm. Caroline, you saw how he treated us. The commander has been very kind to us. He's not like Caroline. the others. An ape is still an ape. An ape by any Don't other name would smell as bad. We must get going. <gasps> Catherine, please, come with us. Dodo, I tell you, it's the truth. Join us. The commander was really trying to protect us. And I tell you, it must be a trick. Come on, we're losing time. Dodo, Do something. Come. Caroline, hurry. Hmm? The blue and the gray. The apes of the old Dodo. west. That's John Wesley ape. So many once flung crap at a man just for snoring too loud. Apes is filmed live on location in Deadwood, South Dakota. They've got us. Godo, let's see you escape now. <laughs> Look, a flying saucer. Where? From shootout to space out. <laughs> uh, it's huh? that flying saucer again. Shoot it down. Yes, sir. Yeah, right. All right, man, put your face diapers on. The pen's ready, sir. Don't these go over our red butts? <laughs> Get ready to fire the nuclear guns! This time I'll show them fire! Fire! 
Huh? <laughs> Go figure. Mine's gone too. <laughs> it's cool. These are no good. Fire! Fire! Shoot it down! Fire! Fire! It's the wackiest war in the Congo! McHale's name, he goes to the planet of the apes on today's matinee movie. Hey, look, Caddyshack. Oh, oh no, no, that's Pepe. Go, no, look, a guard! No. Cool. Can I borrow your styling gel? Hall, who goes there? Who played Dr. Zaris in Planet of the Apes? That's wrong. You're right. Come on. <laughs> well, it's about this time that the old ape boys got themselves into a heap of trouble over at Cooter's place. See, they were picking nits off each other and, well... Johnny, hurry! Where'd they go? Well, they could be in one of those trucks driving away. Shoot them! Shoot them! Shoot them! Our gun's still on fire! Oh, <laughs> Throw your guns at them! Johnny, what'd you do? I took the key from the truck. There. That's our truck. Johnny, you're a pretty smart guy. <laughs> it's fun when you're smart. <laughs> Shall we wait for the flying saucer? Yes. Gabor might catch up to us. Shaja Gabor? Oh, no, no, no. Gabor. She's still Let's doing do community again. service. Oh. If we only knew why they're following us. Maybe they think we're following them. Hey, that would be uh -huh. a switch. I noticed it always comes from the east. Maybe they're trying to follow the plot. It's a little old Devo hat. <laughs> Those spud mm. boys are everywhere. <laughs> It looks like it's signaling. Yes. Well, let's go. No, wait a second. Hmm? I'm beginning to understand now. Oh, Unless I'm him. wrong, the organization known as UCOM is now trying to take over the ape country wrong, and wants us to leave. Wrong. Maybe they're getting ready to attack. UCOM has never attacked human beings. We should contact them and seek their protection, or the apes will get us. Mm -hmm. It could be dangerous. Shall we try it? I know. Anything to I move think the you're plot. Right. It's our only chance. I'm for it. <laughs> yes. To our death, then. <laughs> Careful. Hey. The man car is approaching. Put those dice away and get your get roller ready. skates on. <laughs> hey, where'd you get the beamer, monkey dude? I uh, hey, fell in a cop way. I he hope nobody notices. In here. Stop him. Stop him. He can't come in here. Hmm. He's not the commander anymore. Loser is our new leader. We have orders the not to let house. him in. Let us through. Let us through. Oswald's Our been shot. Not to let anybody in. The commander is coming. Here, let us through. Looks like trying to get to the bathroom at a frat party. <laughs> How would you know? Hmm? Let us through here. Well, I'm with the band. I'm okay. Let me through. The commander is here. How Play. dare you come in here? Good. Keep him out. Keep him out. Oh, Your Excellency. Oh, why? So you have betrayed me. Arrest him! Arrest him! Arrest him, I said! Lower your weapons. Check this out, this is good. Ooh, really Why unfortunate you skin. This? You are too weak! You protect our enemies! We want to fight and kill those invaders! That is your plan? Yes, it is! I gave orders to have them killed! I give the orders here! You are not our commander anymore! I wear the halfway shirts! I'll give you one last chance to call off this rebellion. But, Your Excellency! And I give you my word of honor. Our enemies shall be punished. Very well, Your Excellency. Godo, where are we going? Do the words shadow grave mean anything to you? I'm taking you home. Home? home. Where my thoughts escape me, home. Where I comb my facey. Hmm? No, she's gonna be grounded until she's 30. It's a she? Hmm. <laughs> Looks like she's been rooting for tubers. Lassie! Mama! Pepe! Oh! Pepe! I should be good. <laughs> Pepe! You're safe! You're safe! I was so worried about you. I looked everywhere for you. I even went as far as Green Mountain. Oh. Oh. But you're uh, home excuse home. me, ma'am. Uh, Brawny wants oh. a shirt back. Pepe! I couldn't imagine what had happened to you. I've become a man, oh. mother. Oh, <laughs> 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 
They are cute, but they smell. Pepe, at first, I even thought that you were killed by one of those naked apes. I even rented out your room. Don't be afraid. Hmm? Pepe, Pepe, oh! It's all right, Mama. These are my friends. They're the ones who saved my what? life. And they speak but monkey. they are naked apes. Um, I've been traveling with them a long time. I can explain. We were forced to take Pepe. I'm very sorry. We didn't want to take her along, but we had no choice. We were being pursued by troops. Mm, oh. That true, honey? I know how worried you must have been. Are you leaving me now? Yes, to go back to our country, you understand? No, no, please, take me with you. Pepe, you have to stay and take care of your mother. <laughs> I want to go with you. Pepe, oh. I envy you because you found your mother again. Oh. I want to go with you. Pepe, you have to stay with your mother. But I... I want to go with Johnny and Caroline. Be quiet. Do you want your mother to be sad? Um, can I think about it? <laughs> oh, it's Toot Steelman on the mouth harp, too. Johnny is right. We'll see you again. <laughs> Not. Johnny! Pepe, you must be a good girl and stay here with your mother. Stay? Do you understand? Stay, Pepe. Sit. Stay. Pepe, you'll be all right? We'll get you a tick bath and a rawhide chew. <laughs> Goodbye, Pepe. Goodbye. Goodbye, Goodbye. Johnny. Goodbye. I'll miss you. Come back soon. <laughs> Should we have shot her that many times? There's one good thing. We met Pepe. I don't think I'll ever forget her. I don't think you'll ever get the smell out of the seats either. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Pepe! Oh. He must be nearby. Yes. BJ? Hawkeye? Trapper John? I've been waiting for you, Godo. I made snacks. I hope you like pizza rolls. What do you want? Don't worry, Godo. I've no soldiers. It's just you and I. I'm in a hurry. I have no time for you today. I have more urgent business. When I've finished, then I'll see you. Maybe brunch we'll on Sunday? Silence! Well, we could reschedule, make an appointment with my secretary or something. I'm going to kill you. I deserted my post and came here just to kill you. I must avenge my wife and my son. It's Don Knox and the shakiest ape in the West. I'll take care of Gabar, Catherine. Take the children up to the cliff and wait for me there. Pluto. No, not Pluto. Pluto. That's too far. You can't escape now. Come on out. Oh. Uh -oh. Get back to the Ponderosa and tell Haas we're in trouble. Give me some chicken fried steak. <laughs> Godo, I finally got my revenge. You want you to go to Green Mountain, but instead you'll go to your death. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gee, it's not that Listen funny. Your thirst for revenge is against me. But Let's the go. other three are not involved. Let them go free. No, I can't believe the I refuse to listen wear. to you any longer. My name is Diego Montoya. Godo, now prepare to die. <laughs> and the outlook for Friday, more of the same. Rain, 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 rain. <laughs> So, uh, it's a good idea that we keep our uh, scuba gear for the next couple of days. <laughs> Over to you, Joel. <laughs> Thanks, Tom Servo. Anyway, uh, up next is our fashion editor, Crow T. Robot with the Fashion Minute. Crow? Thank you, Joel. Hello, hello, hello! This spring's ape is dashing, daring, and absolutely shameless in paramilitary garb as the House of Primates unveiled its Tarzan collection to the dazzle designers assembled in Milan. And, oh, lucky me, I have the footage. Uh, roll that footage, Cambot. Here comes Ennui, patrolling the byways of fashion in a breezy street-length heavy wool dress, smartly accented by an orange ascot with white shoulder bag and matching belt. Coco's a classic in this Chanel. Shoulder pads, leggings, and jaunty gold buttons put all eyes on this soldier. Tan hut, 
colors scream for attention in these fun, fun, fun one-piece action jumpsuits by Dicker and Dicker. Although they can fly solo, just add a brooch, white lacquer skull cap, and jack boots, and you'll soar to new fashion heights. Back on the home front, you'll wait for your King Kong with this indigo print kerchief by Dr. Zaya. But hold on to it. This little number's red hot and looks great on any species. Halt! Who goes there? Why, it's Jacques in the timeless Colonel Sanders topcoat. Note the raised brass button and velvet collar. This ensemble makes any ape king of his jungle. Off duty? Then bivouac in this. Oh, so soft, rich, velour dinner jacket from the Cornelius collection. Just add a riding crop, blue taffeta ascot, and you'll be the Cinderella of any liberty. Attention all personnel, incoming fashions. <laughs> Our military parade ends with a salute to the medical corps. These gauzy white linen surgical masks breathe life into any wardrobe. One of this year's most versatile accessories, the surgical mask doubles as a red butt cover. Well, this is one reporter who is ready to enlist in any guerrilla war that looks this great. So this year, Uncle Cornelius wants you. Back to you, Joel. This is Crow. Bye-bye for now. Around the Earth in 30 minutes, this is Commercial Sign. here at Comedy Central. <laughs> oh, we have fun, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> Darn lighter. <laughs> Not a fluid. Hmm? That flying saucer again. Uh, yeah, whoever you are up there, tell me, why do you prevent me from carrying out justice? I must well, He's doing a scene from Lear. Wife and son. Yeah, I must yeah. Have I must have yeah, you must so have your Valium, too, buddy. Calm down. You must let me kill him! Why well, that's how big it is. Hmm. Godo killed my wife and son! He's waiting for Godo, I think. Godo. It hits the house on the rock. Right. You must let me kill Godo! Just let me do this one thing. Boy, that and monkey sure can you emote. Forever. You bet. Mm -hmm. Just let me do this one thing. You come has ordered that there should be a stop to all further killing. Or you will be killed. But Godo killed my wife and my child. He deserves to die. Why do you want to save Godo's life? Mm hmm? Well, you know the party's over when they bring out the vacation yeah, Absolutely. I'm ready to go. Hmm? Help me! Help me! It's Babu. It's my son. <gasps> oh, I've seen this one. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. Boy, oh, the color is terrible. I think you can do something about that. Uh, try to catch this. Oh. 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 There's that rope I used to have. I've been looking for that. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. You know, those two apes probably never did very good in gym. They can't no. climb the ropes at no. all. Oh, oh, he shouldn't have shaved his I'll mustache. Try to pull you up. Uh, I should have left it on. Yeah. Try to save my son! Save my son! You know, in films, this is where getting Don't final cut up. really Keep pays off. Yep. Yeah. Live, damn it, live! Come on, you never gave up on anything in your life, now live! Well, well. Oops. Oh boy, is my face red. Mama! That's not the only thing. It's red. <laughs> Come on! He's Come an on. ape and he can't hang on to a rope? There. Something's wrong. A little more. Your dunk, I'll come back. Nicely inside. Oh, it's Earl oh. Warren's single ape theory here. Oh. Hello there. Hope you've enjoyed today's matinee movie. My son. I... I, I killed my own son. It oh. wasn't Godot. I killed my own son. It hurts, don't it? Bye. I did it! I finally did it! Damn me all to hell! <laughs> Meanwhile, at the Ford Falcon with the vibra slap option. It's the commander! Oh, hang, hang on just a sec. Don't say anything yet. Oh, wait, I gotta get this door. Oh, okay. Oh, how much do I owe ya? 
Told you not to come by way of the expressway. It's all torn up over there. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Hurry it up. I gotta do Lincoln at the Globe Theater. Your Excellency, Yukon's been signaling us. Be careful. It must be a trap to kill you. But the Flying Saucer always used to help us. And it's an agent of Yukon. It's a trick. <laughs> hey, Bar. <laughs> <laughs> I just what heard the funniest you? joke. <laughs> Your Excellency. I don't deserve to live. I've done a terrible thing. I'm a murderer. I've no right to live anymore. Mm -hmm. I, I killed my wife and my son. What's that? Yes, I killed my wife and my son. Come again? Jeez, you are a oh. sicko. And I, I always thought that Godo had killed them. Gabar, oh. it was an accident. You have a good heart. I will help but you. But you got really bad oh, breath. Your Excellency. Oh. <laughs> Kmar, <laughs> it was an accident. Oh. Kmart? The savings place? Oh. I don't feel very good. I'm going to go rent faces of no, death. No. I accused you wrongly. Please forgive me. Yeah, well, sorry don't feed the bulldog, pal. <laughs> oh. Oh, Lou. Lou. Oh, the poor thing. To have to live with that. Hmm. Well, yeah. so lunch, everyone? No. We're going to contact Yukon. You are being fooled. Mm -hmm. You do not realize the dangers that lie deep in Green Mountain. Yukon can be very treacherous. Stay here with me. Catherine, let's go. Yes. Just a moment, please. Hmm? The rebellion is over. Yep. We can have a peaceful life. Let us go back together. I can't. I know that you have been kind. Only we are human beings, and, and this is an ape country. And it stinks to high heaven. Please understand, Think we could never children. live here, hmm? among strange creatures, in a strange country, away from our home, a stranger in a strange here. land. She's, she's not going to start to sing Ebony and Ivory, is she? Uh, I hope not. Wait a minute, it's Darren McGavin. I knew it. I'm hungry. Hey. You really are I different. Understand. Yes, because we are different, you'd be afraid to live among us. But that will change soon. One day, different people will learn to mm -hmm. live together message. in peace and harmony. This is the message. I message, people. Send an escort with message. You, but my men All will right. not go message, to Paul. I wish you well on your journey. Thank you, sir. I don't know how to express our gratitude for all you've done for us. How about a Hickory Farms gift box? Captain, your excellency. A couple oh. of those cigars you have on your sleeve. Fruit is good, sir. You might need this. Neat. It's been a great pleasure knowing you. I hope you will think of us once in a while. So you know, when peace. you drive past a blooded raccoon on the Go side down. of the road, that kind of thing. Take good care of my friends. Uh, I'd wash that hand if I were you. That's my throwing hand. Yeah. Mm. Goodbye, <laughs> Goodbye. 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 I gotta get this outfit back to Prince. I uh, put a time bomb in their car. <laughs> watch this. Any of you guys ever been to the Dells? This mm. kind of reminds me of it. Mm. You ride the ducks. We're very close. The entrance must be somewhere behind the mountain. Oh, well, that's narrowing it down, isn't Look, it? There's the flying saucer. There's the flying saucer. She's so dizzy. Well, put your thumbs out. Maybe you can hitch a ride. Godo, where's it landing? Behind that rock formation. I don't know this place. Hmm? I wasn't allowed to play here as a child. Uh, then you come certainly there. <laughs> Is Careful. <laughs> oh, look. Hmm? It's a you store it. Oh. This must be the entrance. How do we get in? Try the and knock it. Shut tight. Yeah. Again with the feet. Well, that was easy. Look. Oh. 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 Miles Davis is in there. 
Beware of the Balrog. Isn't that from Lord of the Rings? We are all of a sudden have leather lace-up boots and eight-sided dice? Let's yeah, go. give me a break. Hmm. You know, if you looked at those lace-up boots, they'd have to kill you. <gasps> Ooh. Hmm? 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 <gasps> this week only at the Omni Theater. The Joshua Light Show. E33. We must have come into the future. Ooh. Ooh, boy. Are we in the left ventricle? <laughs> Sandy Frank, Sandy Frank. Catherine. I'm Francis Farmer. Johnny. Nope, Catherine's Vivian Lee and Johnny is John Berryman now. Fashions by Issy Mayaki. It shows. <laughs> Oh, that was easy. Now she's on the inside. Hmm? Focus! Please. Focus! Hey, focus! Hey, it's a scene from The Miracle Worker. Wah, wah. Hmm? Whoa! Oh, no! It's Anthony Braxton and Don Cherry! Run! No! It's very surreal. Mm hmm? Hmm? Hi. It's me. William Conrad for first alert. Ooh. This is like an obsession commercial. If I'm an ape, then pronounce me guilty. <laughs> Between apes and men lies obsession. I thought I'd lost you. Lost you. Lost you. Lost you. Lost you. Lost you. Run like a duck. Caroline. She passed Caroline. out from the sheer length Caroline. of the film. It's too much. Caroline. Caroline. Uh, but she was awake Caroline. about ten slaps ago. My brother lives in Florida. Caroline. Caroline. Uh -huh. Caroline. Uh -huh. Caroline. Uh -huh. Do you know where Johnny is? Do you know where Buffy and Sissy are? We're still in the ape country. I just saw apes. Caroline, calm yourself. I saw apes, Catherine. Caroline, didn't see them. I did. They're coming. They're coming after us. Talk to their leader, the commander. James Bond. Catherine. Huh? Hey, it's the guys from Clockwork Orange. Yeah. The Droogs. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. I think it's a group of Castro impersonators. Please don't hurt us. Don't hurt us. Huh? Huh? They seem to be in a state of shock. Uh, so are we. <laughs> Our mystery guest is... Who's that? I don't know. <gasps> Dr. Lee! <gasps> Welcome back home. The music is goofy here, too. We're back where we started. Catherine! <gasps> <gasps> Any more gasping, we're gonna run out of air in this room. <laughs> it's an ape! Oh, uh, they've had quite an experience. I don't think they'll forget it for a long time. Yes. That ought to teach him. And now, part two of Time of the Apes. Oh, Dr. No. Lee, where are the other two? Hmm? Uh, two? Hmm? Yes, Johnny and... Him. Johnny is over there. We hmm? put the three of you in different rooms. But we were four. Huh? The third capsule was empty. Huh? No, it can't be. Godot was with us, a young man. Faze and sister, he blew you off. You must have had some kind of hallucination. The capsule is still here? Mm -hmm. It's in the laboratory. The door on the right. Mm, take it out for a test drive. I gotta get Catherine! back to the meat counter. Catherine! <laughs> Run like a duck again. I swear he was in one of these. Oh. Mm -hmm. Godo's a pendant? 
Maybe he's in there. Catherine! He's independent. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, your loan's been approved. Hmm? Roseanne! Mother! Mother! Johnny! Johnny! Hey, buddy! 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 buddy, 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 buddy. Uh, Johnny. I never thought I'd see you again. <laughs> we were hoping. It's done. Turn up the voltage, Hank. Mm. Oh, that was really that was good. Nice. Let's Can get we go out? Yeah, let's get yeah, out of here. I like that one. Yeah, that was fun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was really cool. What? Hey, wait a minute. What? It's, it's still on? Huh? Oh, for crying out loud. Seven days. Fortunately, no. only Jeez. a limited area was damaged by Funny the earthquake. How many innings are we going to get? The rescue team worked around the clock. It still took seven days to dig you out. Only seven days? In May. You've had an incredible adventure, I know, but time is relative. You mean like my dad? No one will believe that your experience of six months only lasted seven days. But it's the truth. Yes, yeah. I know it's the truth. Sure, right. And I have evidence. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I have data that corroborates your story. He's now working for Star Trek. I notice certain deviations in the time scale. It mm. shows 3,714 mm. years. Yeah, I can see it. And the thermometer shows an incredibly low temperature. Neat. We thought 273 degrees below zero was the lowest temperature, but these readings indicate mm. even Pops, more extreme temperatures. Are you telling me, Frigid? And that could have elongated the time scale. Hell, it's a shot anyway. Let's just end this Dr. thing. Dr. Lee, the capsule was in such a low temperature zone. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Where the universal computer was. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, isn't this scene like closing the barn doors after the cows are out? Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. I understand now. It's all very clear. Well, it's smoking. I it's a big joke your for people who are high. Yeah. You reversed into the past. Keep stretching. But there was another Keep factor, stretching. the extremely low temperature, which caused the time scale to warp. And therefore, the deep freeze capsule acted as a time converter. Oh, oh this movie's even stupider than I thought it was. Oh, hmm. good. OK, there, group. Oh, what happened to him? He enjoys long walks on the beach at his Malibu retreat. He must have taken a wrong turn at Albuquerque. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Well, that's the sand. Mm -hmm. Catherine, there's something I'd like to ask you. Me Shoot. too. I know what it is. You want to ask me about Godo? No, why does my ice cream taste like a burger? Godo and why are we now little kids? Mm -hmm. It's not easy to explain. Yeah. Ooh. We came back to where we started. We returned to the present. Mm -hmm. Godo had a different Let's journey. He's in another time zone. Oh. Did he go to the past or the future? Where yes. do you think he is? I'm my own grandfather. I don't think we'll ever know. Hmm? So, more ice cream? But one thing I do know, and I know for certain, yeah. Godo, wherever he is now, He'll always be in our hearts. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. yes. Oh, definitely. Yes. definitely. You say in our hearts. We agree. We'll we'll always concur. forget him. Yep. Forget forever. Oh, is there going to be another ending now? Hey! Yay! Here we go. Sandy Frank, Frank Sandy Frank. Frank. God's about the house I go. Let's do the Sandy Frank song. Sandy Frank, Sandy Frank, he's the source of all our pain. Sandy Frank, Sandy Frank, gets up at the house all day. <laughs> Sandy Frank, Sandy Frank, thinks that people come from trees. <laughs> Sandy Frank, Sandy Frank, gets hard movies from Japan. <laughs> Sandy Frank. Sandy Frank, films are always poorly done. <laughs> Sandy Frank, Sandy Frank, Spielberg will return his calls. <laughs> uh, sir, uh, better check this out there. Gadding about again. <laughs> oh, for heaven's sake, we don't have time for this kind of nonsense. Don't you have a letter to read? And quit camping it up up there. Babies are sleeping. 
Oh, yeah, we could read the letter. I don't see sure. anything wrong with that. Yeah. Do you? Well, okay. Sure. okay. Well, this letter we picked out is uh, from a guy. Well, I'll just read it to you. Uh, okay. Let's put that on still store Cambot. It says, Dear Joe Crow and Tom Servo, my name is Vladimir Lopez. I'm 15 years old and a devoted fan of MST 3000. It is my absolute numero uno A1 favorite show. I live in Tijuana, Mexico and never miss a show. Hey. I just love everything about it, especially the songs and plays you come up with during the breaks. However, oh. there's one part I hate, uh -oh. and that is when the mad scientist pushes the button. I yeah. wish it would go yeah. on longer. We too. And then he yeah. added a really cool... Oh, now that's cool. Let's that's that really there, outstanding. Kamba. Okay, let's Good work, tell Vladimir. him about... Let's tell them about the MST Information Club, Tom Servo. All right. Send your letters or anything else you can fit in a mailbox to MST 3K Information Club, Post Office Box 5325, Hopkins, Minnesota 55343. Do it today. I don't think you should have said that thing about the mailbox. Sorry. But, uh, what do you think, sir? Uh, I'd better push the button, sir. You better change him. Uh, I'll tell you what, Frank. I changed him last time. I'll push the button. You change him. Well, I always push the button. I What's know, and I, I, you shouldn't have to. I'll, I'll push no, the button this I, time. It's fine. I'll do it. Don't worry about it. You go ahead and change him. I'll push the button. No, I think so. you should have this experience. You should no, change him sir. so you'll know. No, no. I'll push the button. His first words. Johnny, don't go. It's too dangerous. I don't care. 